First of all, let's get our supplies together before we start our alternative portrait. And we're going to start off with a wide assortment of oil paints. You should really have, oh my goodness, lots of colors here. We're talking like, you know, your Windsor yellows, your cadmium red deeps, your ivory blacks, burnt sienna, um, even some other ones like ultramarine violet. You can also get away with ultramarine blue if you have some red to mix. Um, the big thing to keep in mind is you need to have a nice wide assortment of warmer and cooler colors. Now, if you're an expert with the color wheel and you can like take your primary colors and white and black and basically produce a lot of these with three colors, that's excellent. If not, um, definitely make sure you have uh, several oil um, paint colors because we're going to be using a lot today. Next, you're also going to want to have some medium to be able to thin the paints out. Also get translucent layers. Move the paint around on the canvas. You want to have like to have a nice soft pencil. Um, we're going to use this for some preliminary sketching. Um, also want to make sure you don't have the type of lead which is really hard. It'll also end up showing through your paint in some situations on certain canvases. So watch out for that. We're also going to have a palette knife that we're going to use to mix in the different paints. And of course, a wide assortment of brushes. Um, big flat brushes. We're also going to have some big round brushes, also some filbert brushes, small brushes, big brushes. Make sure you have at least three of each, different sizes on your flats and rounds. A couple of paper towels are also really useful. We're also going to be using a uh, plastic pallet today, which is nice and easy and storable, and also, you know, cuts down fewer trees than the wooden pallets do. And last but not least, we're also going to be having a nice stretched canvas to put our painting on today. 